Last night, I went to go see the new Ben Affleck film, Air. It's about the creation of Air Jordans. Not like a big shoe person, but I am interested in business history, and I followed Michael Jordan back when I was growing up. And so just naturally, it was kind of an interesting story to me. And Ben Affleck, as a writer and director, has won multiple Academy Awards. So he's one of these guys that it's easy to forget just how talented he is as a storyteller and hasn't directed anything in quite a few years. So he's back in the director's chair. This is the project he was interested in. And I would say, as of right now, this is the best movie of 2023 thus far. Now, we're only a quarter of the way through the year, but I thought it was fantastic from beginning to end. Right off the bat, it's really funny. Like, just the whole movie finds every little amusing little bit to have in each sequence, but in an organic way. The humor doesn't feel forced. It doesn't come off like they're trying to do a bunch of bits. It's not quippy. It's just funny. A lot of that's the talent that they brought in, like Chris Tucker, finally in another movie, Jason Bateman. These are guys that find humor in all the little corners of a scene. Every line of dialogue, they can deliver it in a way that's funny. But even Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, they're all funny in different kinds of ways with the way they're used in the film. Also, it's just an interesting story because Nikes have been so dominant in the kind of world of shoes and basketball for nearly 40 years now. And at the time they were trying to recruit Michael Jordan, that wasn't the case. And so it just has a story there, this underdog story in a place that you don't really expect it. And it kind of uses the audience's built in knowledge of the material, history, shoes, Michael Jordan, Air Jordans, to kind of be able to flesh things out in a way that you normally wouldn't be able to do while telling a story like this. And because we know the end, because we know the legend of Michael Jordan and Air Jordans and all of that, it makes these little moments fascinating that you just kind of go, wow, I never thought about that. Well, that's crazy that that's the way people perceived of things and that this was an under, like they didn't know what they really had and they really took a chance on someone in a context where it didn't necessarily make a lot of sense in most ways. And likewise, just realizing how much this deal changed deals in regards to uh, partnerships between sports companies and athletes moving forward. And just all these little ways that this story was important and fascinating that you wouldn't expect kind of going into it. And along those exact same lines, it makes for a very inspiring, uplifting tale. And some of that is because you're seeing kind of the origin story of shoes, but also in another sense, this legendary athlete, Michael Jordan, at a point in time where he wasn't that yet. And the, he just they're able to use that knowledge that we have, that the people didn't have, in just a really interesting way, all throughout the film. Even the way that it'll sometimes even like intercut news broadcasts from the 90s, the zeros, to flesh out the importance of something taking place and showing us what we already know reminding us of things and how they didn't know that in a certain sense. I was just really well done. A movie that like kept me entertained because it's funny, because there's so many fantastic performers in here, but also uh, just like swelled the emotions. It hit all the right beats, did everything that I kind of wanted it to do. Uh, I, just, I just thought it was fantastic. Very much a, a dad movie, very much an uncle movie. <laughs> it's the sort of film that people in my stage of life would be very into, probably more so than people that are younger than me. If you grew up with Michael Jordan as this legend, this story, even if you're not into shoes like me, I am not remotely into shoes. But this story was captivating, hit all the right beats, all the right nostalgia numbers. And so I, I would imagine that this is going to be the dad movie of the year as we move forward. Um, we'll see kind of how that all plays out. But um, I mean, even just like the way they characterize some of the people like Ben Affleck, what he does in the movie uh, as Phil Knight, it's hilarious. It's totally making fun of Phil Knight while celebrating him, too. And that's kind of so much the tone of the movie that it finds a way to have fun with things 
that it's celebrating. Like these people are legends, but they're also just humans and we're all kind of weird and quirky. It just kind of runs that throughout the entire film. So for me, three months into the year, this is my number one movie of the year. I would give this an A. Uh, it'll probably be in my top 10 at the end of the year. And uh, my kids are walking up, so I'm going to go get them and take them home. All right, see you later.